Praise the Lord. Destiny is calling, calling you. Destiny is calling and waiting just for you. Your visions and your dreams shall soon come to pass. Defeat just won't last because God's destiny, amen, he has for you. For I know the thoughts that I have concerning you, thoughts of peace and not evil, to give you an expected end, a hopeful future, a successful future. For I would that you prosper and be in health, even as thy soul shall prosper. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is our life. In him we live, we move, and we have our being. We're thankful and grateful for you tuning in to another broadcast of the Word Ministries. Hosted by yours truly, I am Pastor Billy Bedford. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the name of God. And we thank God for you. We thank God for all the affiliates at WOIL TV 47, located in the Marvel City of Sylacauga. Alabama. We thank God, amen, for you, amen. And we thank God for you, the viewers that tune in uh, to this broadcast. And this program goes out to all the sick, the shut in, to those in the hospitals, nursing homes, to our bereaved families. Our prayers are with you and our prayers are for you. Praise the name of God. We thank God, amen, for you. Thank God for you, Brother Oscar Cook over in Talladega, oh man, from New Hope, amen, church over in Talladega, amen, on, amen, Knox Street. We thank God for you. Thank God for Sister Hale and amen, your mother. And we thank God for all of you that tune in to this broadcast from all over the world. We give, give honor and we're honored and amen to have you to think enough. Amen. To tune in to these broadcasts. And we pray that the words that go forth, amen, from this broadcast are enlightening and comforting and encouraging and even convicting. Amen. Us to know that we should ever turn to Jesus. Amen. The author and finisher of our faith. And we thank God. Amen. For you. We're going to go to the throne of grace in prayer. If you desire prayer, uh, just call that number that is under the bottom of your screen. We will pray with you, pray in agreement with you. For the Bible says, where two or three of you are gathered together in my name, touching and agreeing that there am I in the midst. Amen. And when Jesus is in the midst, amen, healings can take place. Deliverance can take place. Amen. For he is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our God that healeth thee. He is able to set you free. Amen. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Therefore, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Jesus is able. Amen. The songwriter said, I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. Satan had me bound, but I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. He is the lifter of our head. He is, amen, the God, amen, that will be there for us, declaring, I will never leave you, nor will I ever forsake you. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. David attested to that and said, I was young, but now am old, yet have I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging bread. Amen. God will take care of you. Be not dismayed. Whatever betide you, God will, amen, take care of you. When your load is heavy and your burdens are hard to bear, Jesus said, come to me, all that labor and all that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 
Take my yoke upon you, learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your soul. Truly in him there is rest for our soul. There is peace. There is joy. There is everything that we need. For I heard Jesus say, The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that you might have life, and that you might have it more abundantly. Truly, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither has it entered in the heart of man what God hath prepared for them that love him. God has great things in store, amen, for you and I. And all we got to do is look to him, go to him, amen, and serve him, amen, to the day we die. And God promised to take care of you. God bless you. Let us go to the throne of grace in prayer. Amen. Center your minds and hearts on what you need God to do for you. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you ask and all that you think according to the power that work in us. He told us to ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. God, it will open that door that no one can shut and he will shut that door that no one can open. And he'll open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there is not room enough to receive. So let us go to him in prayer. Amen. And have faith that God is able to do what you're asking him to do, whatever it is, if it's sickness, if it's a situation, a circumstance involving your life or involving someone you're praying about, amen, believe it and you shall receive it. He told us that we have faith as a grain of mustard seed that we can speak to mountains and tell mountains to move and go yonder place. Doubt not in your heart, but believe those things which you say shall come to pass and you shall have whatsoever you say. Let us pray. What a friend we have in Jesus all of our sin and grief to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, with bowed heads and humbled hearts, we stand before you as an empty pitcher before a full fountain. Fill our cups, let them overflow. Oh, God, we come to you because we know that without you, we can do nothing. We come to you, Lord, because we know that if it had not been you who was on our side, when men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us up. We come to you, God, looking to you, for you are the author and finisher of our faith. We come to you knowing what you're able to do, knowing that you love us, that you so love the world, that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in you should not perish but have everlasting life. We pray that you touch our hearts and cause men and women and children everywhere around this world to believe on you, as the Scripture says, to trust you. And lean not to our own understanding, but acknowledge you in all our ways, and you shall direct our paths. We pray, O oh God, for those that are sick in their body. Touch them right now, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. We speak healing in the name of Jesus. We speak deliverance in by the mighty name of Jesus. We speak power, hallelujah, of the Holy Ghost upon their lives. Our power of the Holy Ghost upon our lives. We give over to you mind, body, soul, and spirit. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, thy strength and thy Redeemer. It is in Christ's name we pray. Amen and thank God. Amen. Today we're going to the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter number 18, and begin reading at verse number 35. To the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 18, beginning at verse number 35. There you will find these words recorded. And it came to pass that as he was coming nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging. And hearing the multitude pass by, he asked, he asked what it meant. 
And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passeth by. And he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And they which went before rebuked him that he should hold his peace. But he cried so much the more, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought to, unto him. And when he was come near, he asked him, saying, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight. Thy faith has saved thee. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise unto God. We're going to take our subject, context to subject from verse number 41. Amen. Verse number 41. Saying, What wilt thou that I shall do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. Amen. What shall I do unto thee? Amen. We want to talk to you from this subject. How may I help you? How may I help you? If that saying sounds familiar, it probably is, because if you ever walked in a Walmart, on the back of the employee's little jacket that they have on are the words, how may I help you? Amen. Unlike, amen, Walmart, amen, which is limited with their help. Amen. Jesus Christ, amen, is not limited with his help because with God all things are possible. And he is asking today to you and I a question of how may I help you? And everyone that is veering in and under the sound of my voice, you have at one time or another needed these three things. Amen. You've either needed some help, need some help, or you can be rest assured that as life goes on, there's going to come a time in your life that you are going to need help. You've either needed help, need help right now, or you're going to need help. Good news, Jesus, a man can help you. Regardless of what the situation is, I hear Jesus saying today, how may I help you? Praise the name of God. The attendant at Walmart may can tell you, amen, what aisle the bread is on. Amen. But, but, amen. And they may can tell you if you're looking for bottled water, they may can tell you where the bottled water section is at. Amen. But, but if you're hungry, amen, for a better life, amen, praise the name of God, uh, Walmart attendant may not can help you. If you're thirsty for, amen, some things that turn around in your life that has been going awry, Walmart may not carry what you need, but I know, amen, the bread of life if you're hungry. Amen. Say, so come to me. All that are hungry and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. If you're thirsty for some things to turn around in your life, 
Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Praise the name of God. Amen. The, the employee at Walmart make him tell you what a home and garden section is. Praise the name of God. But amen, if you walk in Walmart and, and, and your spirit is troubled, your heart, amen, is dismayed. Praise the name of God, amen. Then the home and garden section does not have what you need. Amen. They may have some saw that'll help your flower to grow. Amen. But if you're down in the valley, amen, of discontentment. <coughs> Amen. I know a man called the lily of the valley. Amen. That can lift up your bow down here. How may I help you? Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. God want to help us. Amen. And he knows, amen, what we need. Amen. Praise the name of God. First of all, amen, we got to know a man where to go for help. Uh, a man, praise the name of God. Uh, a man, and David said in Psalm 121 and 1, uh, a man, he knew where his help was at. Uh, hallelujah. He said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills, uh, to the mountains, uh, from which come my help. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, you got to know where your help comes from. Uh, you got to know who your help comes from. Uh, David went on to say that my help comes from the Lord. Uh, amen. Which made the heaven and earth. Uh, you got to know how, amen, to get to your help. Uh -huh. You got to know, hallelujah, something about him. Uh, no wonder Paul told Timothy uh, to study, to show yourself approved under God. Uh, amen. If you want to know how to get help. Now, you need to search the scriptures, huh? for in them you think you have eternal life. Huh? These are they which do testify of me. Huh? You got to know where huh? I look my eyes to the hills. Huh? You got to know who. Huh? My help comes from the Lord which made the heaven and earth. Now, you got to know how, amen, to get to your help. Now, amen. And that is, like Paul said, study the word of God. Now, hallelujah, amen, to show yourself approved unto God. Now, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Now, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, you got to know where I lift my eyes to the hills now, from which come my help. Now, you got to know who now, my help comes from the Lord. Now, which made the heaven and earth. Now, you got to know how, huh? amen, and that is to study the word of God. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? You got to know why. Huh? Yeah, huh? amen, you need him. Huh? The reason why you need him, huh? amen, because Jesus said that without me, huh? you can do nothing. Huh? Hallelujah. There's some things in this life huh? you can't do on your own. Huh? Jesus said, without me, huh? you can't do nothing. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? That's why you got to know why huh? you need help. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Can't you hear the songwriter sing? Huh? It's me. Huh? It's me. Huh? Standing huh? in the need. Uh, a prayer uh, can't make it without him uh, can't do nothing without him uh, I need him uh, yeah uh, without him uh, I'd be like a ship uh, without a sail uh, without uh, him uh, I would fail uh, yeah uh, good God almighty uh, when uh, do I get the help uh, 
you got to know, hallelujah, that he'll never let you down. He told Joshua, be encouraged, be of good courage, be very courageous, for I will not fail you. Yeah, we must understand that he won't fail you either. I'll never leave you. I will never forsake you. Well, when do I get my help? Yeah, it's coming. Be not dismayed. Hallelujah. Your help is on the way. Be not dismayed. Whatever betide you, God will take care of you. God will, yeah, carry your heavy load. God will fix it for you. God, God, he'll take care of you. Put your trust in him. He'll never fail you. The Bible said it came to pass that Jesus was coming nigh under Jericho and a certain blind man sat by the highway side begging and hearing the multitude pass by. He asked what it meant and they told him Jesus of Nazareth uh, pass it by. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, it's something uh, when Jesus uh, is passing by. Uh, <coughs> something uh, when Jesus uh, is in your neighborhood. Uh, joy uh, unspeakable, uh, full of glory, uh, shall come uh, to you. Uh, yeah. Uh, when Jesus uh, is in your neighborhood. Huh? Peace uh, that surpasses all knowledge uh, is there uh, to help you. Uh, can't you hear Jesus saying, uh, My peace uh, give I uh, unto you, uh, not as the world gives. Uh, my peace uh, I'll leave with you. Uh, yeah, uh, when Jesus uh, is on your street, uh, yeah, uh, hallelujah. Peace, joy, life, life more abundantly when Jesus is in your house. Yeah, he'll be like a rivers of living water springing up in the everlasting life. Yeah, Jesus of Nazareth passed by. And he cried, uh, saying, Jesus, <coughs> thou son of David, uh, have mercy uh, on me. Uh, yeah, uh, he was used to begging. Uh, he was used to uh, crying out. Uh, he had no problem. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, when they told him, uh, Jesus of Nazareth, uh, pass by. Uh, I stopped by. W O I L T V forty seven located in the Marble City of Silicon, Alabama, to tell somebody that Jesus of Nazareth passed by, said, "Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone will hear my voice." And open the door. I will come in and sup with them, and he with me. Yeah, I stopped by W O I M T V forty seven, located in the Marble City of Silicon, Alabama. 
uh, to tell somebody uh, your help uh, is on the way. Uh, be not weary uh, in well doing, uh, for in due season uh, you shall reap. Uh, if you faint not, uh, I stop by uh, W O I L uh, TV 47 uh, to tell somebody uh, help uh, is available. Uh, God is uh, our refuge uh, and strength, uh, a very uh, present help uh, in trouble. Uh, they rebuked him, uh, told him uh, to be quiet, uh, to hold his peace, uh, but that didn't stop him. Uh, he cried, uh, he cried uh, so much more, uh, so much the more uh, when the devil uh, try to stop you uh, and you uh, be determined uh, uh, for God I'll live uh, and for God I'll die uh, so much the more uh, he cried uh, thou son of David have mercy on me tired of standing by the wayside begging, tired of situations in your life, hallelujah. He said, thou son of David, have mercy on me. The text says that Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, if I can just get near the cross, hallelujah. If I can just get near the hem of his garment. He asked him, saying, what wilt thou that I should do unto thee? And he said, Lord, master, that I may receive my sight. He didn't ask them for a dollar nor a ten spot, nor a C note. He didn't ask for a Ben Franklin. He asked that I may receive my sight. Jesus said unto him, <clears throat> that's why I say, how may I help you? Jesus said unto him, receive thy sight. Thy faith has saved thee. And immediately he received his sight. And he didn't go by, by the highway side begging. He glorified God. And all the people saw it and gave praise unto God. God bless you. God keep you is my prayer. <laughs>